Hello! Isang magandang buhay sa lahat. So, narito na naman po tayo para matuto. So, for the grade 8 students and parents, so, ito na po ang ating bagong lesson sa araw na ito. lesson for today, medyo mahaba-haba. So, illustrating and finding slope of a line given two points, equation, and a graph. So, magbibigyan lang siguro ako ng tag-iisang example. Isang example for two points, example for equation, at isang example for the graph. Okay, so when we talk about slope of a line, ito yung tinatawag natin steepness of a line. So it, can, so, it can be computed by finding the quotient of the rise and Run. So, ano ba sir yung rise and run? So, ito yon. So, ang slope, ang symbol ng slope ay M. So, pag may nakita kayong small letter M, that is slope. So, we have here's rise over run. Kaya nga siya rise, ibig sabihin pataas, that is vertical change. Pag sinabi naman natin run, that is, of course, the horizon. Hori. So, hindi na ako marunong mag-spelling. So, that is horizontal change. So, vertical, meaning to say change in yung ating y coordinate. So, ito ay change in y coordinate. Well, this one is change in x coordinate. Yan. So, sorry ha. Medyo maliit yung ating board. So, in symbol, so, in symbol, so, ito po ang ating formula. We have slope is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x of 1. So, huwag kakalimutan yung ating formula y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x of 1. Okay, so say for instance, we have here um, points. Point A, we have um, 3 and 4. Well, point B, we have negative 2 and negative 3. So, ito yung ating magiging um, x sub 1, y sub 1. Ito naman sa B ang ating x of 2 and y of 2. So, hahanapin natin yung slope using this ordered pairs or given points. So, we have slope is equal to y of 2 minus y of 1 over x of 2 minus x of 1. So, sabi ko itong ating x of 1, y of 1. So, we have y of 2. Ito. Y. This is x. This is y. Baka nakakalimutan nyo. So, we have here negative 3. Minus, we have here 4 over, we have here negative 2, x of 2, minus yung 1 natin, 3. Okay. So, since same sign, we are going to, okay, very good, we are going to add. So, 3 plus 4, that is 7, copy negative. 2 plus 3, that is 5, copy negative. So, negative divided by negative, that is positive. So, we have here 7 over Five. So, therefore, the slope is 7 over 5. Iche-check natin ngayon. So, gamitin natin yung points. Para maintindihan nyo yung rise and run. Okay. So, we have here since 4, apat lang. Okay, so 3 and 4, and dito siya, 3 and 4. Negative 2, negative 3, and dito siya sa quadrant 3, so negative 2, negative 3, so and dito siya. Okay. So, pasensya nyo na yung aking, um, ano, graphs. So, aking linya, hindi straight. So, basta straight line yan, just use a 
um, ruler. Yeah. Okay. So, 7, 5. 7, 5. Pag sinabi natin, this is the rice. Di ba po? Ito yung rice natin. Ito yung ating run. Okay. Simula tayo sa run. So, we have here, or rice. Okay, rice na muna tuloy. Para hindi kayo malito. So, rice natin ay 7. Ibig sabihin, rice pataas. 7. Pitong step. So, we have here, 1, 2, 3, so, andito tayo ha, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, andito tayo, andito na tayo. So, ang run natin ay 5, so, ibig sabihin, papunta dito, horizontal, 5. So, we have here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, meaning to say, correct. Kasi nakarating siya doon sa other point. So, sir, paano po yun? Ano yung ginawa nyo? So, ganito lang. I-chinect lang natin kung tama ba yung slope ng negative 2 and 3 tsaka 3 and 4 using doon sa nakuha natin 7 and 5. From the other point, using 7 and 5, the rise and run, dapat makapunta tayo doon sa other point or the second point. So, we have here, nag-rise tayo ng pito. One, ang pag-rise po is doon din po sa bawat number ng ating sa Cartesian plane. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Kaya dito siya. Nasa tapat tayo ng negative 2. Then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, andito siya. So, meaning to say, correct. Okay. So, yun na yung sinasabi natin given the two points. So, lagi nyo lang pong tatandaan, my dear students, na pag ang M natin or ang ating slope ay positive, ganito po ang graph pataas. Pag negative naman siya, ang graph niya po ay pababa. Tinihan po. So, pag ang M naman natin, ang slope natin ay zero. So, ang slope natin ay zero. Yan. So, we have your horizontal naman. Pag undefined yung ating slope, Okay, vertical po ang graph. Okay. So, wala naman kasi itong slope. Hindi naman natin ma-identify. Kaya nga undefined yung ating slope pag vertical. So, pag um, horizontal naman, zero. So, pag pataas, that is positive. Pag pababa, that is negative. Let us now proceed um, finding the slope um, given an equation. Ito medyo madali din ito. Hindi na tayo gagamit ng slope formula. Example. So, we have here 3x minus y is equal to 2. We are going to find the slope. So, ang gagawin po natin, transform natin ito into the form y is equal to mx plus b. So, negative y, maiiwan siya dito. 3x, we have here, ililipat natin sa kabila. So, magiging na siyang negative 3x, copy positive 2. To cancel negative, okay, palitan mo lahat ng symbol or multiply distributively by negative. So, magiging positive y, positive 3x minus 2. So, ito na ang ating y, mx plus b. So, alin siya ng slope? Okay, yung m natin or the coefficient of x. So, therefore, slope is equal to 3. As easy as that. So, ang tawag natin dito ay slope-intercept form. So, yun ang ginagamit natin. So, pwede natin siyang i-rewrite yung equation para mahanap natin yung slope. Ang slope natin ay positive 3. Okay. Okay, so let us now use a graph. We are going to find the slope of a line using a graph. So, halimbawa, this is our graph. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so see, for instance, we have here 3 and negative 1. Meron naman tayong negative 1. 3. Okay. 
So, mapapasa nyo, meron tayong 2 points. So, sir, pwede natin gamitin ang... Okay, very good. The formula for finding the slope, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, so medyo mahihirapan pa kayo, so, but you can try. Okay, since meron tayong graph, pwede po tayong magbilang na lang. Okay, magbilang. So, m is equal to rise over run. Okay. Okay, so rise and run. Okay, so tatandaan nyo lang po sa rise. Pag positive, going upward tayo. Pag negative, downward, pababa. Pag run naman, pag positive, papunta tayo ng right. Pag negative, papunta tayo ng left. So unahin natin yung ating rise. So, magbilang tayo hanggang makapunta tayo dito sa katapat ng negative 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, and up here, we have 4. Since bumaba tayo, yung rise natin ay pababa, magkakaroon tayo ng negative na symbol. Kasi downward. Over. Papunta tayo ng right. 1, 2, 3, 4. Since papunta tayo ng right, positive 4. So, negative 4 divided by 4, that is okay, negative 1. So, therefore, the slope is negative 1. So, as simple as that, pwede po tayong magbilang lang. Pwede po tayo nyan magbilang na lang. Like this one, pwede naman pagpunta sir, pwede po ba sir sa kabila magbilang? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ang rise natin, since pataas tayo, positive 4. Since papunta tayo ng left, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, negative 1 pa din naman. Nagpalit lang sila ng symbol. So, nag-gets po ba? So, ayan. So, I hope meron kayong natutunan, my dear students. So, ganoon lang po kadali. Huwag nyo lang kakalimutan yung formula for finding the slope. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Then, yung ating slope-intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b. So, lipat-lipat lang. So, kung ano yung coefficient na x, yun yung magiging natin. So, so, thank you so much for watching. Review nyo na lang yung ating lessons. So, medyo mabilis si sir. So, para mas lalo yung maintindihan. So, I hope na kaya ito.